Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I started an experiment that I forgot about. I was having a little hard time trying to figure out what worm was what, and so I started to um, pull out what I thought were European night crawlers, and I just, as I picked them out, I would put them in this uh, cat litter bucket. I'm not kidding, I don't even remember when I started doing this. Maybe around Christmas time? Yikes. There goes my Worm Mama the Year Award. I was gonna check out my cast, so I was gonna dump the bucket out here and look and see if I had any babies or anything in my castings before I start going to use them. I opened the bucket and I was like, that's weird, that's like leaves. What's going on with that? So then I dumped it out and I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess I just totally flaked out and did not um, follow through or and I just picked the bucket up and put it somewhere else and forgot completely about it. They haven't been watered or fed or, I mean, it's, it's a cat litter bucket. Here, no holes, lid, whole business, nothing redeeming about it as a worm system at all. They do seem to be happy though. Um, so yeah, this is completely unprepared for this video, but just wanted to let you know if you go on vacation and forget about your worms for a month or two, at the very least, I can tell you that European night crawlers aren't going to be real fussed about it. Um, yeah. Oops. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put them back in there and, uh, continue on. I mean, there's some of them that I think might be red wigglers now that I'm looking at them. Looking at this little dude here, put him on top of there and sit you down. Looking at him against what I fully believe is a um, European night crawler. Man, I wish you could export uh, worms from Europe back over to here. Some of those Belfast worms are nuts for European night crawlers. But looking at these guys, these are guys are pretty good. Leave them, don't, leave them alone. Don't fuss with them for a couple months. But tell me what you think about this one over here. Is that an immature one or is that a red wiggler? He's got the little stripey nose, this guy over here. So maybe he is, but man, look at that guy. That's crazy. But uh, I'm gonna let them go back in the, in the leaves and keep on keeping on. They are apparently happy as all get out in their own little bachelor pad with the leaves and sand and haven't been fed. And I know it's not the best lighting here. This, I was totally not prepared for that, but I don't see any cocoons, but with leaf litter, it's really hard to see them anyway. But hey, if you wanna know what it looks like when you ignore your bins for a couple of months, this is what it looks like, especially if there's only a handful of worms. All right, well, a little quick video here. Give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button because just about anything is about ready to happen here. I forget bins, you know, cats living with dogs. It's a circus. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. They're enjoying a little bit of love after uh, two months out of the limelight. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.